bright and early here in Seattle. Um, I'm heading to a couple of museums because it is February, which is the museum month <laughs> here in Seattle where you get half off of all um, museum admission prices. So um, that's going to be my day today. And of course, your girl is about to go get her some food um, after the museum, of course, because I got these pictures to take and I can't be bloated in them. <laughs> I just took several pictures um, in people's phones and I had no idea I was actually taking the picture because they didn't even ask me, but I smiled for the camera anyway. <laughs> In this screen room. Let's look at some of the great screamers in horror. I have to scream like I'm in a horror film. screamers open their mouths really wide. <laughs> I'm so hyped up because y'all know I'm theatrical. The look of surprise. Dramatic. <laughs> this is like right up my alley, a so I'm really excited. I'm about to scream too. Terror. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> So I just left the first museum. Um, I just came from the Museum of Pop Culture and I had a great time. I had a great time all by myself. Good time so far in Seattle. Tell a cold though. Hey y'all, it's your girl Jasmine Leatris, AKA the Fly Beaver King. Hey y'all, it's your girl Jasmine, AKA the Fly Vegan, coming at you all one more time. I am currently here in Seattle, Washington at the Wayward Vegan Cafe. Um, all I did was Google this restaurant and I looked at the menu and the menu looked amazing. So here I am. Um, I just spent a whole day looking at museums and stuff. I went to the Museum of Pop Culture, which was really, really dope. Um, it was very interactive and fun and I really enjoyed it. But now I'm hungry. I built up an appetite and it's like 3.30 in um, Charlotte. So I'm hungry and I cannot wait to chow down on this food because the pictures and the reviews on, uh, on Yelp look amazing. So I will definitely let you guys know uh, how everything goes. Okay y'all, so looking at the menu, there are a few things I'm debating on. I do know I want breakfast food, but I don't know exactly what I want. So they have this country fried burrito that I'm debating. Um, it has hash browns inside, a hazelnut cutlet, grilled onions, and it's served with fries topped with gravy and cheese. And that just sounds amazing. And I looked at pictures and it, it, the burrito looks huge. And then there's the um, Biscuit Mountain, which are two huge biscuits topped with gravy. There's two different gravy choices and um, served with hash browns, vegetables, it looks amazing. And then I'm looking at the X Benedict also. As you know, vegans can't eat eggs. So I'm really curious about how they made their eggs. Um, the pictures look amazing and looks really fulfilling. So those are the three items that I'm debating on. Um, but I did receive my Irish cream coffee. <laughs> and so um, let me just take this sip. I, I hope I don't feel tipsy throughout the rest of the videos because I gotta get home too. Y'all, so first sip was amazing. Um, low key, do think I'm about to get a little tipsy up in here because I haven't eaten or anything. Um, but yeah, so those are the three items. I'll let you know. I have to decide. I did order some fried artichoke just to start off with. The pictures of the fried artichoke looked amazing as well. And I haven't had artichoke um, in a minute. So, and I've actually never had it fried. So I'm really excited about that to come. And yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, y'all, so I did, like I said, I did order the fried artichoke just to start off with. And it just arrived. So let's see, let's taste the first bite. This is the bomb. I'm really happy I ordered it. The sauce that it comes with is delicious. 
It leaves a great, mm, like it's fried, but it's moist inside, so. I don't know how they did this, but this is really good. It's so good. It looks like shrimp. It tastes like shrimp, too. I'm just playing. It doesn't taste like shrimp. I don't even remember what shrimp tastes like, but anyway. Okay, y'all, so my three just arrived, and I ended up ordering the Biscuit Mountain. Take a look. So the Biscuit Mountain comes with hash browns, but I ordered um, the stuffed hash browns and a side of hollandaise sauce. I ordered that just so um, I can let y'all know how the uh, stuffed hash browns are and if it is worth um, upgrading from regular hash browns to stuffed hash browns. So um, y'all saw my plate, it's a lot, and I still have some fried artichoke left, and I might have to get a, a, a box to go because I don't think I can eat that all in one city. But um, I'm so excited about this meal, y'all. Like, it looks amazing. And, like, it's a lot of food. It's a lot of food. So I'm really excited because I, your girl can eat. But um, at the same time, I am trying to be fine. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. But I'm so excited to take my first bite. So I'll let y'all know what's up. Okay, so first bite, the um, Biscuit Mountain is delicious. Like, it has meat. I'm gonna tell y'all what kind of meat is in it. I gotta get the menu back. <laughs> I think that um, the Irish whiskey is starting to get to me because your girl can't remember what she ordered. But um, the Biscuit Mountain first bite is delicious. Now the stuffed hash browns are stuffed with um, cheese, cheese and sour cream and um, it comes topped with green onions and little ham cutlets you know again ham but um, it's really good so I think the upgrade I mean hash browns are hash browns so I, I, I definitely think the um, the upgrade from um, regular hash browns to the stuffed hash browns is worth it because this it's like flavor just exploded in my mouth and I love it now but but again back to this biscuit mountain this is bomb and so for everyone who thinks vegans can't eat or we eat you know spinach and kale sweet potato all day long are totally wrong this breakfast food is the bomb like i wonder like i would love to bring a meat eater here and have them taste this exact meal that i have and tell me if they can really taste the difference i don't think they would be able to again i haven't had meat in a while so my taste buds might be off <laughs> but this is really good so i'm gonna get back to my food and i will get back to y'all a little later y'all your girl is full <laughs> like i'm so full and i'm i'm not even halfway done um everything is really delicious but i feel like if i eat anymore i'm gonna stuff myself so i might have to take this to go but it is definitely, it's the bomb. Let me show you. Y'all see that? Now I could eat, but I don't know if the artichoke stuffed me up. I mean, your girl has been practicing portion control, so I don't know if that portion control has my stomach adjusted to something else, but um, I'm full. I'm gonna take a couple more bites just because it is what it is, TEI is. <laughs> And then I'm on my I'm, I'm on my second y'all. Yeah. I'm on my second Irish coffee. So I'm feeling really great here in Seattle. And if you want to feel great here, if you want to feel great like me, you need to come to Seattle. The Wayward Vegan Cafe. It's great. Um, it's not your raw foods. It's very it's like it's like comfort food. So this is definitely a must visit if you are here in Seattle.